This is the mayor's house in Giyuan. Unlike the wood and bamboo framed buildings that surround it, it is a solid construction. But even so, it had much of the roof ripped off and the people living there fearing for their lives. This CR, this, this CR is the one who, who saved us. The one who saved us. We have 12 children and four older. And then the, the water here is above the knee. Above the knee. The wind was so strong, in fact, that it picked up this van from in front of the mayor's house and threw it to the other side. Giyuan is where Typhoon Haiyan first made landfall, and it hit with unprecedented fury. Winds of over 315 kilometers an hour make Haiyan, or Yolanda as it's called in the Philippines, the worst typhoon ever recorded on land. This church has stood since the 16th century and has braved an earthquake of 7.8 on the Richter scale. Unlike in the cities of Tacloban and Basay, northwest of here, it wasn't surging water that did the damage, but the wind. Next to the church are the ruins of the old market. Benjamin Buenavista used to sell his wares here, but now he's selling water-damaged rice and sugar from a makeshift stall. Before, he was making 3,000 pesos a day, about 60 US dollars. Now he's making about 300. Just like his constituents, Mayor Christopher Sheen Gonzalez huddled with his one-month-old son in his bathroom, fearing for his and his family's lives during the typhoon. Uh, I don't know if, if you will consider it as a joke, but uh, because this comfort room will save their lives, they are, they are uh, asking the, uh, the uh, Sanguni and Bayan of Giwan and, uh, for, the, for the government, the local government of Giwan, to pass uh, an ordinance, or rather a resolution, to put a monument of a comfort room. Mm. Because this, that, 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 that comfort room saved their lives. He says that the forced evacuation procedures he implemented prevented the loss of life from being far worse than the current figure of 87 dead, 23 missing and 937 injured. The town's airport has been instrumental in getting aid to the people. But 80% of Giyuan's residents rely on fishing for their livelihoods. And the mayor says that the best form of aid for the people and the town would be to buy them new boats. Uh, since all of those uh, fishing boats uh, were broken, yeah. all of this blow up flow in everywhere so uh, if uh, we didn't get any if, if we didn't have any chance to uh, to give back uh, to give the boats back and uh, it will be very hard for us to recover here in Giwan so I am uh, appealing to or the national government or the foreign aid uh, should give those fishermen the fishing boats Michael Garan may no longer have a boat but that hasn't stopped him from fishing he caught 20 squid from near the shore using a net this morning and has sold all but two of them when he offered us one to buy. But for Giyuan to recover from this level of destruction is going to take more than one enterprising man. Tom Griggs, Financial Times, you want.